Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review of the new Pearl Jam album, Dark Matter. Number one, I'd like to point out that I am wearing, I think they're women's Dolce and Gabbana glasses. I think that's how you say it. I got them from um, that really nice um, professional YouTuber, um, Valentina Victoria, on her Poshmark site. So, that's pretty cool that I got those from her. She was originally selling them for, I think, $800, and I offered a kind of a low ball price. I felt bad about it, though. I offered like five, and then I upped it to 15, and then I negotiated with her on Patreon, and she gave it to me for. She said, I'll take 50 from you for it. Is that doable? And I'm like, definitely, I'll give you 50 for them. So I got these for, like, these are $800 designer glasses because of the gold on the side. This is 24 karat gold. I got, I can't see out of them. I'm legally blind, but I like to use them for videos and stuff and, and um, selfies and stuff, like pictures. So... I got them for 50 bucks, and they're originally like $800, $900 glasses. So anyway, that being said, let's get down to the brass tacks of this whole thing. Okay, the, the let's get down to this. Um, I want to just point out that I listened to it on two speakers. My Sony speaker and my Bose speaker. Let me show you and talk a little bit about my speakers first. This is my... Sony speaker Okay, that's my Sony speaker now. This is my Bose Speaker, okay, I listened to it on the Sony first and I was a little underwhelmed um, to be honest with you both speakers have um you know, strengths and weaknesses. I would say the strength of the Sony is that it plays classical music really well, like better than the Bose, I think. And it also plays rap music better. It, it handles the bass better. And I think it does some classical rock better if it's like lighter fare. Now, the other speaker, the, the Bose, handles heavy guitar and, and drums, loud rock music better. And I think, overall, it's a louder speaker in a smaller space. Now, if I want to go in a bigger space with more acoustic sounding or outside, I think the Sony is better. So there are strengths and weaknesses. But in my room, on the... Uh, Bose, I thought when I when I popped it on, I was like night and day. It, it made the new Pearl Jam album Dark Matter sound so much better that I had to rate it way higher. I, I probably would have rated it like on par on the Sony with you know their last three um, albums. Backspacer, Lightning Bolt, and Gigaton, which weren't bad albums. They all had good songs on them. Like I always thought, and even with this one, if you take all the best songs on them and make a compilation of the past few albums, you would have a damn good album. Um, on every one of them, there's good. There's a lot of good ones, and then there's a couple that aren't so good. Or a few that aren't so good. On this one, on this particular one, the, the first two um, singles, um, this the title track, um, Dark Matter, and Running, I wasn't that impressed with. and But when you hear it with the album, it kind of makes sense why they went with those heavier lick, um, more 
punk kind of songs and the rest of it is uh, a little more mellow but I'll tell you what as mellow as some of the mellow songs are I would say every other song is solid um, and has a lot of good guitar work and um, drums and but especially guitar I'm going to say the guitar is what really shines in the in this album and on the bows I thought Eddie, Eddie Vedder lyrics, I mean, I mean, sat voice, shall I say, and lyrics, you could hear them better, and, and his, his, um, singing was better, and it, I really liked it, uh, now, I still think it's not as good as their 90s albums all the way up to Yield, and it's not as good as anything from binaural to uh, the self-titled Pearl Jam, which was nicknamed the Avocado Album. Um, just not quite on those levels of, of greatness. The Avocado Album came out in um, 2006. So that, I mean, it was quite a few years ago. Uh, you're talking over 15 years ago that that came out. So I mean, that is not, like, right around the corner. But, um, I believe Backspacer was 2009, the year that the Yankees last won the World Series. And, um, then there was Lightning Bolt, which came out 2013. And then Gigaton, which came out 2020, the year, uh, when we were in uh, quarantine for um, it was a very tough time I think that's why I liked it so much at the time and I still like it pretty much today Gigaton is still a pretty good album I, on Gigaton I think my favorite song might be like one of the ones that some people don't like or I don't know I, I think it was pretty well received amongst the fans I don't know if the general public liked it as much but the 80's sounding song that sounded I forget the name of it the 80's sounding song that sounded like like the um um that sounded like the talking heads or something i mean that one was speaking of talking heads i'm like a big giant, giant head in the screen right now with glasses <laughs> but yeah that one was my favorite on the album and also like super blood wolf moon on that one um uh what was the one on this one that got some flack on the on the message board on the Pearl Jam message board, was it somewhere like this or someplace like that, something like that, um, I'll get the names of the songs tomorrow and do a proper review, but it got a lot of flag, and it's really, I think it's a song about him and his daughters and family and wife and stuff, uh, Eddie Vedder probably wrote that one, and it's just a beautiful song, I don't know why that one got flack, it's a really good song, again, I'm gonna say, out of all the songs, the two first singles they came out with, um, the title track for the album, Dark Matter and Running, I think were the weakest, but the last one they just came out with, I think it was Wednesday when they released it, Wreckage. Oh my god, what a beautiful song. And even when I hear it with the rest of the songs on the album, it's just beautiful sounding. It's, uh, Wreckage is like a, an homage to Tom Petty. Maybe a little bit of Bruce Springsteen as well, which I, I like Bruce Springsteen, so that's a cool thing for me. So I, overall, I, I don't want to totally grade it right now, but I'm just going to say I really enjoy the second listen. I am going to relax and turn out my light and try to get some rest, but um, I'm going to pop it on one more time, but on my headphones, I have JBL headphones. The JBLs are really good. They're not quite as advertised for the um, noise canceling with the, with the, with the noise canceling, but the sound is beautiful for a lot. I, I like to do ASMR with them. They're really good with that, with the binaural sound and stuff, and the, the the mic scratching and stuff like that. And they're really good with music, whether it's classical, whether it's rock and roll, whether it's rap, whatever. The JBL headphones are where it's at. 
I highly recommend it. I will show you those as well. Let me see if I can't find them. Where did I put the JBL? Oh, here they are. I, I just had to look. Um, I, I Again, I'm like legally blind, so it's kind of hard to see. These are the JBLs here. See, it says... I believe it says JPL on the side there, and they're they got the padding there. So I'm gonna listen to I'm gonna listen to the album on the JBLs, but now I have another problem. I don't know where my glasses are. Oh, here they are. I have Nike glasses. See Nike glasses. They got green on the side. So I'm gonna put those on in a few, and I'm gonna just sit back in the dark. I'm not gonna have any of the. Um, the, the lyrics, or I'm not going to have the, sa the, the the names of the songs. I'm just going to listen. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. If not, I don't. Hopefully I don't fall asleep because I don't want my headphones to break when I'm sleeping. Everything, uh, let me give you prices on things. So the Sony speaker was 150 with um, shipping and handling. It cost about... Uh, in the 160s, I, I bought it with a gift card that I saved up with cash. Same for the Bose speaker. That was a little cheaper. I think it was a little uh, over a hundred with shipping and handling and tax, probably up to about 120. And um, the headphones, a little over a hundred. I think they were like 105, 110. But, like, the list price for everything was, like, a lot under. Like, the the speaker was a little under 100. The, 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 the Bose speaker was a little under 100. Um, the headphones were, I believe, a little under 100. And the uh, Sony speaker was, like, 150. Uh, I, I, again, got... Two of them with a gift card. The other one... I think I got all of them with a gift card. I think I got them all with a gift card. I don't think I used my credit card to to buy any of them. So that was pretty cool. Um, whenever you could save on your credit card and keep your credit going good, I try to do that. And it's a smart thing to do. And now they're telling me I could buy a car. I don't drive. If I got a car, I'll probably give it to my sister Karen. Because she doesn't drive. And well, she does drive, but she can't drive because she doesn't have a car. So I'd probably give the car to her. So anyway, that is my review. I'm giving it a solid, especially on second second uh, listen. Uh, so I'm gonna go for a third uh, as I go to sleep, and I'll probably listen to it tomorrow and play it for my dad because uh, he's only heard like three songs out of it, and he probably doesn't remember them. So I'll play it maybe when we go on a trip in a car or something. We might have to go deliver like some mail or something at the post office or cans at the recycle center or something. Or we'll do something, you know, we'll find something to do. And, uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. And I've probably rambled on way too much here. But I hope you've liked my uh, Pearl Jam Dark Matter review. So... Kind of in the scientific realm, if you know what I mean. Dark matter. Do scientists even know if it's real? Is that like a thing? Is it really like, like, didn't like Albert Einstein kind of predict it or something? Anyway, I'll let you guys go. May the force be with you. Pearl Jam album is really good. I highly recommend listening with a good speaker or something or good headphones. God bless. Let's go Yankees as well. They play the Rays tomorrow at Yankee Stadium. Gotta get the bats going. Pitching's not doing too bad. 